So typically, when it comes to imaging equipment, the state is responsible for regulating the quality of all of it. You know, um, there is always going to be a circumstance where you know, a machine might not have been calibrated properly, and or it might have delivered either too much or too little radiation in a particular setting. And in this era that we live in, the amount of regulation that typically comes from the state, but also from the county, is so intense that it's really, really hard uh, you know, to have an overdose or an underdose. And typically if that happens, again, the, you know, it's a very isolated event and the impact is still usually very minimal. But the most important aspect of inspection comes from within the departments usually. Uh, they will either hire third-party vendors to come in there who specialize in inspecting imaging equipment and making sure it's up to certain national standards or, or um, you know, radiology standards. Um, and those inspections are, are done usually on a daily or every other day basis to make sure everything is exactly where it needs to be so that there's no mistakes done. And usually the most important aspect of, of testing is in the morning before the machine is used to treat patients that day. They make sure everything is calibrated properly. They have some very, very accurate testing measures to ensure that the radiation is not too much or too little, uh, which can also be a problem. So inspection certificates are always readily available and are required by law to be posted outside of the treatment device or of the, of the imaging device. Uh, if, that is, if that certificate is not available, it's probably a good idea for the patient to consider going elsewhere. Uh, most centers, the vast majority of imaging centers, are conducted in the utmost quality. They're required to by law. And, and, if, and typically, that, there's paperwork that reflects that quality. So there's a lot of different layers of accreditation that comes into an imaging facility. Uh, the first layer is always the state. Whatever state that, pra that, that uh, facility is operating in must get approval before they install uh, and use their equipment. Uh, that's always the first layer. Most counties will always have a secondary inspection as well, where they come in and make sure everything is operating properly. But uh, good quality imaging centers will always make sure that they have a third party or a manager or someone that's responsible for doing their own daily inspections and quality assurance measures. So the accreditation process tip always starts with the state. The state will come and offer its first first-hand inspection to make sure everything is done at exactly the standards that are set forth by their specific guidelines. Then the next step it would be uh, county inspections. Some some counties don't require it, but most of them do, uh, to make sure everything is done at the standards that, that they've also set forth. Um, and then the final layer of inspections are within uh, the society. So, for example, the radiological society might have. Um, uh, accreditation guidelines, and they're not necessarily requirements, but they'll have their own uh, layers that you have to go through above and beyond what the state and the county might require. And then finally, the hospital is likely to have its own radiation safety committee or their own administrative tests that make sure that everything is done to their standards as well.